value topic. My name is Kazi Severson. I'm the inventor of the Severson method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, especially the margin of error business when it has to do with absolute value. I know that many of my students are very confused when they see absolute value in the qualities in the answer choices on the SAT. So I wanted to pacify you and give you a cool rundown of what is it that the SAT wants from you. Uh, before watching this video, make sure that you watch the video where we talk about creating absolute value and then come back here because otherwise it's going to make very little sense. So the SAT takes the concept of creating an absolute value a little bit further. Remember how we talked about then when you create an absolute value, you're talking about through kind of four values, to be honest. You're talking about a set of values on the X axis or the Y axis or the variable axis. You're talking about the minimum value, the maximum value. You're talking about the value that's central, that's in the middle. We're going to call it min, max, central, central value. And then there is this thing called the distance. If you're going back, the distance is still positive. If you're going forward, the distance is still positive. So all of these four values, the SAT could give you two of those values and you will be able to figure out the other two. They can either give you the distance and the central value, which will be which you will be able to figure out your max and mins, or what they love to do now, they love to give you the maximum value and the minimum value. They love to give you these two. And then they ask you to construct the absolute value equation based on that. It's really easy. All you need to do is you need to find the midpoint value and then your distance. This example I've taken from the, I think it's Nelson Fu's website. And um, he has, he blogs a lot, which I appreciate his blog and I love it. Um, give this uh, question a read. And then um, I know that you can see the solution, but I want you to take in what this what this question is saying. A manufacturer of cookies tastes the weights of cookies and the packages could be anywhere between 16 ounces, that's your minimum, or 18 ounces, that's your maximum. How do you come up with a, an equation? Well, if 16 and 18 are your min and, ma uh, and your min and max, what's the midpoint? The midpoint is 17. Is it positive 17 or negative 17? positive 17. So that means whatever you have inside of the absolute value is going to be negative 17. So A and C is automatically out because remember what's inside of the absolute value is negative. And if you see X plus five right here, that means that the, mid, that the middle coordinate, that the central value was negative five. So make sure you watch that other video for sure. Now the weight cannot exceed 16 um, they, it cannot exceed 18 ounces and cannot be less than 16 ounces. So now here we need to think a little bit. Can it be more than one? Can the distance be more than one or not? In other words, if we were to draw a number line, can, uh, and then 17 is our central value, can the weight of cookies be greater than 18? Can our distance be greater than one? Or do we have to stop at 18? Or can our distance be uh, greater than one on the other end? Like, can, can uh, a package of cookies weigh less than 16 ounces? No, it has to be strictly between 16 to 18. So the distance has to be less than one. The answer is D. Next, I brought, um, I collected a few examples for, for you from another favorite tool of mine, which is UWorld. And I highly encourage you to purchase UWorld, but because I want to show you and demonstrate the example, so I couldn't find anything uh, from the official SATs that test this directly, but I know for a fact on those tests that we can't see or can't access, those examples show up. So um, go get yourself a UWorld subscription, and here are some examples from UWorld.
What do you guys think? If you said D, you're absolutely right. Because five and 13, these are a max and min. The midpoint would be nine, positive nine, which leaves us with this. And then yes, from nine, if we move four this way, we're gonna get 13. And if we move four backwards, we're gonna find ourselves at five. And the distance is four, four, and it has to be less than four. Absa freaking lovely. This one. Read and try it. If you said A, you're absolutely right. The midpoint would be 400, and um, this is not an inequality, this is an equation. The answer is A. Next one. What's the midpoint? If you said 26, this is kind of leaving us no other option because this is the only option that has 26 as a midpoint, and then it's um, less than or equal to three. Last example. So here, they're not giving you the maximum and the minimum. They're kind of giving you the central value and the distance. So this is closer to creating an absolute value. So 14 ounces, that is your coordinate, which means you have to have negative 14 and it can differ at most by 0.1 ounces. So that's your distance. And that's it. Hope this really have really helped you guys. I um, try my best to find um, examples for you. And uh, let me know if you have any further questions. Remember, every month when you leave a comment below any of our videos, you get answered into a draw to get on a free tutoring session with me for a whole hour where we can talk about SAT, ACT, and anything else learning related. I'll see you in the next video. We're going to be talking about absolute value graphing next. Bye.